Hi everyone, welcome back to another video on my channel. So today I am kicking off the Valentine's nails, although they're not going to be like majorly Valentine's, they're going to be like spring slash Valentine's because I'm not really into the whole like really majorly Valentine's nails, but I'm going to do something like just simple. So I'm using five different pastel colours for these because like I said, they are going to be great for spring as well. So we're going to be using Dahlia, which is this beautiful purpley colour. And then we've got a pale green, which is honeydew. My phone clearly doesn't like this one. Um, and it's this sort of colour. Then we've got fleur, which is a pale blue. I've used it in my videos before. And then we've got blossom, which is a pale pink. And then we've got banana milkshake, which is a pale yellow. So they're the five I'm going to be using. My base colour is going to be peachy nude, which is also gel perfection. Um, I've used that in my videos a lot. And then I'm going to be using the white gel paint from magpie as well which has definitely seen better days so first things first i'm going to paint all five nails with peachy nude and then i will join you back here when we've got two coats of that color and all of them so once i've painted them all this color i am then going to go in with the colors that i've picked out and i'm going to apply these just randomly to these nails so this one obviously i'm doing a what's it called horizontal line so i'm just going to do the line first a little hair there apologies for the noise in the background now but if we never put the washing machine like if we waited for me to not be in this room to put the washing machine on like basically we'd never do any washing because i'm in here all the time um so anyway i'm just gonna apply this over where i've just put that line just to make it a bit quicker instead of me having to fill it in fill it all in with my brush and then i'm just gonna redo the line because i did just get a bit where i didn't want it so that's that and then once I'm happy with it and I've got it exactly how I want it which I haven't yet but once I have I then will pop that in the lamp and then I'm going to do the same sort of thing on all of them but they're all going to be different so some are going to be horizontal some are going to be vertical some diagonal blah 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 that sort of thing so that's the blue one done then going in with my next colour so I'm going to use yellow and I'm going to do this one a bit horizontal Again, I'm just going to fill the bottom in with the brush from the bottle just to make it a bit of a quicker process instead of having to do it with a really small, thin brush. Make sure to cap the free edge as well. And then I'm going to pop that in the lamp and I'm going to do the other three off camera just because I'm doing the exact same thing every time but just a different direction with each colour. So I'll do one like the top half, another one another way and then one down the middle like that. So I've decided against using the pink because I'm going to do something different for the fifth nail instead of just the plain like I have with the rest of them. So for this one I am going to just do a line down the middle. Actually I think I was supposed to not do the middle. No, so I'm not doing a line down the middle. I lied. Well I did obviously but I've changed my mind. Um, so I need to do four lines like but I want the nude in between them all. So I'm just going to first go in with the colours themselves. Um, I'm not making the lines really thick to start with because I don't like I'm not very good at like portion <laughs> and like ratio and stuff um, so I'm just going in with like a nice thin line first of all and then once I've got all four colours on the nail I will bulk up the lines a little bit because um, I'll know then how like much space I've got and how big each one can be um, so I'm just going in with the yellow now. I'm just making a line of yellow. I'm using the Erin's Favourite brush from Erin's Sills Collection. This is what they're called. And then I'm just going to go in with my last colour, which in this case is purple. Which is the Dahlia one that I showed you. Okay, so now I know how big I can have them. I'm just gonna go ahead and bulk up the lines a little bit. I don't want them to be too wide, but I want them to be 
wide enough for you to be able to see them. So I'm literally just adding like the tiniest bit. I don't want loads. And I'm going to do that for every colour. Because I want enough nude in the middle to add some nail art like between the colours basically. That's why I'm leaving a gap between them. I really, really love how these colours go together. They're beautiful pastels. And then I need the green. And then lastly, the blue. So I'm just wiping this off one more time. Going through the blue and then I can add that onto the end. And then once I've done that, I'm going to pop that in the lamp. I don't really need to because what I'm going to do between these um, lines is going to be like just on the nude anyway. So it's not going to be touching them, but I'm just going to pop it in to make sure that it's nice and like kept still. So I don't have to worry about potentially smudging any of the lines and stuff when I'm doing some nail art. So anyway, back to the other nail. So I've done two coats on each one. So just to make sure that they're all like nice coverage and stuff, I've put two coats on them all, on all four. So with this one, well, with all of them, I'm going to be doing pretty much the same thing. So I'm just going to open my white gel polish, my white gel paint, sorry. Uh, where's my tweezers? And then I'm going to be using a dotting tool to create some hearts. So I need two size dotting tools. Like for the heart, I want quite a large one. So I'm going to be using this one let me just clean it make sure it's nice and clean ready for me to use it so i'm going to be using this size for the heart itself and then for the rest of the design i'm going to be using a really small one so for the heart i'm going to be dipping into my white making sure there's enough product on there for a nice dot and then i'm going to place a dot either side of this purple so I'm just going to build on it because I want them to be slightly bigger and nothing too crazy. So I'm just building on that, making sure that either side of that line is about the same size. And then I'm going to go in with my Bestie brush, which is basically like the Erin's favourite brush, but it's a shorter version. Um, I'm just going to twizzle a bit of white through that brush just to make sure that it's nice and coated so all the bristles are together and then I'm going to create the heart so I'm just going to pull it down to about the length that I want the heart to be and then all I've got to do is just join the sides of that dot to the end of the heart basically Trying to make it as even as possible on both sides. Nice and even. And then I do want the, what's it called? These areas to be higher. So I'm gonna bring those up a little bit higher. Just so we've got a more defined split in the middle between the two sides of the heart in my eyes because I'm so blind <laughs> oh, I'm doing so good for my age like constant back pain like everything hurts it's not good is it but never mind and then I'm just making sure it's nice again nice and even And then all I'm going to do is, whoa, I think that's the most out of focus it's ever been, you know, <laughs> it's, it's new that one. So I'm just going to wipe off my brush to make sure it's nice and clean, there's nothing left on it at all. And I'm going to pop it into some acetone to really make sure it's clean. And I'm just going to get my brush and pull it down the middle of this heart, basically. I'm going to do that again. Make sure all the bristles are together, so twirl them together, oh gosh, twirl them together. And then again, I'm just going down the middle. 
and there we go that will help me to pull it in to create a little bit more of a gap down the middle I'm just going to get some more on my brush now so I can actually use it I did put the dots a little bit too close that you don't want them to actually be joining but mine were which is what made this so difficult but you'll see from the next ones that it's not as difficult as I am making out I am really just milking these hearts <laughs> So once I've finished the heart itself, I'm then going to go in with just some dots. Super, super simple design. Well, it would be if I didn't balls the heart up so much, but you know what I mean. We're just going to pretend that I didn't have to tweak this heart for so long. <laughs> anyway, so I'm going in with my smaller dots now. Just getting some of the white on my tool. And then I'm just going to go along the line underneath that heart with some dots. Because I just think dots really make a design, you know. I love dots. I generally, like, quite often will look at a design and think it just doesn't look good enough. Like, what can I do? And I'm like... I'll just add dots like literally dots make everything so much better they're just brilliant so I'm going to pop this in the lamp before I accidentally mess it up by messing about with the heart for too long because I know that I'm going to do that so I'm going to stop touching it now I'm going to pop it in the lamp and we're going to do that again on all four of the other ones whereas with this one, I'm just going to do the dots instead of love hearts as well because I don't want overkill. So I'm going to pop a dot in the middle of this one and a middle of the two end one. Well, not middle, but middle of the nail of the two end ones. So they're all like in the same like row sort of thing. And then I'm going to pop the other ones on. So middle again of the gap that's left on all three of those and obviously I can't do any more on the other side but down this one I'm also going to pop one in the middle of what's left and then I'm going to do the same thing with the other ones but in the middle of the ones that I've just done because I don't want lots and lots of dots just enough to tie it all in with the dots on the other nails but not enough where it's a bit overkill super simple but really really cute and pop another one just on right on the tip and then we can get another one here and here perfect so that's that i'm going to pop that in the lamp for a full cure so with the other ones i'm doing the exact same process with in regards to the heart but obviously this one is a middle line so i'm going to pop the heart dots on top of the line so we've got one there and then we're doing one just slightly next to it but not actually touching this time i've learned my lesson so i've just done that and then again i'm going to get my brush with some of the white through it but you don't need to actually use what's on your brush like as like paint to really like draw like paint with if that makes any sense like the paint that i'm putting on my brush is literally just a really minimal amount it's almost literally just to get some polish on my brush. I'm using the polish out of the dots to actually paint with. So you don't need a lot of excess on there. But super, super easy to do love hearts when you do it this way instead of the way that I just did it by accident. A lot less faffing around with them to get them perfect when the, the um, dots aren't touching each other in the middle. Because then they just merge together and that's when you end up having to separate them like I just did. Just going to join those together a little bit more that's it perfect and that's that one super easy and then obviously all we need is the dots either side again so i'm just going to do those on the line just down both sides super easy very effective and then once that's in the lamp i'm going to do the other three off camera but i'm doing the exact same process with all of them so this i will do them on camera but i'll speed them up
So they're all cured now. I'm just going to top coat them all off camera um, just with a normal, um, what's it called? No wipe top coat. I think these would look really effective if before you did the white, you matte top coated and then did the white on top in gloss. I think that'd look really effective. Um, obviously, or you could do them all matte. Like It's totally up to you how you want to do it. But I personally, I think, want to have them, um, what's it called? glossy just to make my life easier as well because i know that i'm not going to like them when they're matte so i'm going to have to repaint them all so i'm going to do that off camera like i just said and then we can have a look what they all look like together so this is the finished result i love how they turned out they're so cute let me know if you like them as well and whether you'd wear them or not i think they look really cute i'm not really a pastel type of person so i wouldn't wear them i'm not gonna lie but i do like how they turned out i think they are really cute um how many times can one person say cute in one sentence Hmm. <laughs> anyway i hope you enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching as always and i'll be back really soon with another video i don't know what that noise was i don't know if you heard it but something has just fallen apart over by the washing machine so i best look into that but anyway thank you so much for watching and i'll be back soon bye